A lot of you have been waiting for this and asking for this and it is finally here. Today, we are gonna show you how we answer our emails. Let's go. Now nah, we're just kidding. Today is the annual pairing day with yeah. our breeders. We have so many snakes we are breeding this year. So this might be a longer video, just gonna warn you ahead of time. But yeah, we have a lot of amazing snakes that we're gonna be breeding this year. I think, should we start with bull snakes? Yeah, I think we're only gonna show bull snakes and hog noses in this video. Yes, we have a lot of miscellaneous stuff, but I think just with bull snakes and hogs, that's gonna be a lot to watch. Yep. So the miscellaneous snakes we're gonna pair off camera, but we'll still list them off so you know who we're still gonna be pairing this year. Yep. But yeah, let's start with bull snakes. So what bull snake are you starting with? Let's start with with orange creamsicle. All right. Orange creamsicle is a hypo patternless bull snake and we are going to be pairing him for the first time because we actually didn't do it last year with Shakira who we found out last year is het patternless. Yes. So we are gonna pair them together. Oh, I need a, a ladder, hang on. Shakira is an exanthic morph bull snake. So here you go. Orange creamsicle, there's your girlfriend. And she is not trying to eat him right now so I think we are good. Can you check them out at least? Don't eat them. All right, that's a big snake. All right, she we're good. So hopefully with this pairing, we will get patternless. And uh, that's right. Uh, Orange creamsicle is possibly head exanthic. So we'll be able to prove out if he is head exanthic yeah. or not since she is exanthic. Yeah, exactly. Next, we are going to be pairing Barnaby, who is a beautiful Trumbauer, higher, uh, Trumbauer hypomorph bull snake with Diarrhea Jane, who is just a normal. She's actually one of our program animals, yeah. but she is now big enough to breed. And Diarrhea Jane, look, look. you get the sexy man. Who is that? Eh, she like, doesn't care. She's like, take him out of here. I don't want him. <laughs> we are also going to be pairing Barnaby with Diarrhea Jane's sister, Dottie. Sassy Dottie. And with both of those pairings, all the babies are going to be normal, but they'll be hit hypo, just like Barnaby is. Next, we're going to be pairing Enzo, our red-colored, a red, Big red phase bull. male, which is a line bread trait. And we're going to be pairing him with Brad, our very first female bull snake we've ever had. She yep. did not breed last year because of a surgery, so she's a little extra chunky this yes. year. She should produce lots and lots of babies for us. Look, Brad, new boyfriend. Oh, she's like, is that food? <laughs> if it's not food, get it out of here. <laughs> Good girl. Thanks for not eating him. Yeah, they'll be all right. Hopefully with this pairing, we'll get some reddish colored babies. But since both adults are big bull snakes, the babies are gonna be big yeah. too. Like so. Brad is definitely bigger than Enzo, but Enzo is also a big, massive boy, so. Yep, so we're gonna breed Enzo with uh, Hannah as well, Brad's daughter yep. in the zoo. Next up is Mr. Wilson. We are gonna pull him out of retirement because this year he's actually looking, I don't know, really spunky and he's really active. So it's like he's looking for females, so you know, we're gonna give him another shot. If he wants to breed, we'll let him breed. We're gonna pair him with, I know this is gonna sound weird, but we're gonna pair him with his daughter Priscilla right down here. Yeah. And again, with reptiles, it is normal for related individuals to breed with one another. As long as you don't do it too often or you're not encouraging uh, bad morphs or bad genes, it's typically okay in the reptile world. Basically, so. you don't wanna breed, oh. <laughs> she just struck at Emily. Yeah. <laughs> you don't wanna take these two who are already related and breed their siblings together or breed back and then do it like 10 times because yeah. then you start getting into the spots where you know they're they'll have the the scutes under here will be split and you'll start getting a lot of inbred characteristics about them. Mm -hmm. so. But both of these seem really well bred. We don't see any of those defects, so we think it's a safe pairing to do. Plus they're beautiful albinos. Yes. So, so both of these guys are hypo albinos, so they will produce all hypo albinos uh, for their offspring. And she might be het white side too. We mm -hmm. don't have it written on her card for some reason, but I'm pretty sure she's also hit white side. This is a, a redone card, so I'm gonna have to look back in her genetics. Could also be just she was possibly at white side. So. Yeah. Oh, I only had to get a hook for this one. Yeah, Circus needs a hook. He yeah. likes to eat people. So <laughs> Circus here is gonna get paired with Monroe. Circus, the male, is a white side and he is het albino and het hypo. And Monroe, the mom, is a, a white sided hypo and she is het albino. So they will have all sorts of fun things, I think, pop out from their clutch. Yes, and well, there is a lot of activity going on in already, Priscilla yeah. and Mr. Wilson's new bin. You guys, uh. Doing okay? You guys gonna make it? You're on opposite sides of the enclosure. Never mind, it's like a high school, it's like a middle school dance in That's there. Right. So. Cooties. So with this pairing, we should get hypos, white sides, 
hypo white sides like her, which is called ghost, and we could get hypo albinos, so high binos. We could get white side albinos, so false snows. They're kind of white bull snakes, all white bull snakes. So yeah, I'm very excited yeah, for this clutch. It's gonna be a good one. Next up is one of your favorites, Mr. Steal Your Girl. He is a, a hypo albino, het white side, and het patternless. We proved out last yeah. year, actually. And for everybody who told us that we paired Creamsicle with Shakira, we never did. We said we were going to if we didn't see positive locks, but we saw positive locks, so we never paired her. Yep, this guy's a good breeder, so we didn't have to pull in our substitute yep. orange creamsicle last year. And we're gonna pair him with Snow White, who is a double snow. She is albino, white side, and exanthic, so she's both Dang. true and false snow at the same time. Oh, oh she's, she's right, right there. <laughs> Hello. Hey, girl. Hi, Snow White. You get to you get a boyfriend for a little while. Here's your boyfriend. She's like, no. Here you go. Go check him out. I don't want to check him out. <laughs> All right, there we go. Man, with this pairing, we would get pretty much everything except for hypo, because she doesn't have hypo in her. But we would get white side and albino and snows, false snows, which is white side albino. Okay, there's still a good variety of stuff we get yeah. from these guys too. So they can, they can breed for us as well. Yes, please do. All right, we have two more pairings of bull snakes this year. This is a wild type, but he's really reddish colored. He's really pretty. He is het patternless. He doesn't have a name yet, so oh, we sure. need a name. He's got the cool gray behind yeah, his head. he has a cool gray face, which uh, it's probably hard to see on camera, but he has almost a two-toned or a split colored face. So he's gonna get paired with our hypo female, who is also het patternless. She's a really pretty hypo, too. She is. She's right up front, she too. She is waiting for food. Here you go. Boyfriend. They've been paired before, so I'm not worried about them. Oh, but she just opened her mouth. Did she? Yeah. You're not going to try to eat him, right? He's not food. Uh, not food. Okay. No, I yeah. think she We're understands. Good. We're good. <laughs> and we'll just get hypos out of these guys? We'll actually just get some patternless. Because oh, okay. she's hypo, he isn't, but they're both patternless. I was like, normals and patternless. Normals and patternless. And the last pairing of bull snakes we have this year is actually kind of an exciting one. This was one of the first white-sided bull snakes we produced. Held him yeah, back. He's really pretty. He is. He's a... got the super dark top yeah. and the super white sides. Just wonderful contrast. We are, and his name is Fitness Gram Pacer Test. Uh, I don't know how he got the name. Somebody must have named him that. Nice. And we're going to be pairing him with a female that we have called Jerkface because she was found in the wild and she's some sort of morph. She kind of looks white-sided, you'll see her in a second, but she is the meanest bull snake I have ever met. And so somebody may have just gotten fed up with her and let her go. So she might not yeah, actually yeah. be a new mutation. Who knows, but we're gonna pair her with a white-sided to see if that is what she is. Her name is Jerkface and she's usually, there she is. Of course she's How are you doing today? <gasps> oh, what? Oh! What are, what are those? We're not supposed to do that. Those are slug eggs. That means you develop them in, in in brumation. You've been out of brumation for two weeks. You can't make these in two weeks. I mean, this is her personality. If it she is. could do anything to us to just like Rude. mess with us. Really? That is, she, is totally what she would do. She's still laying some too. There's still some in her. Uh, okay, you never mind. Jerk I'll face. set this back on top All of right. her. You put never, him back. Never mind then. All right, well. Okay, you keep having your babies. Don't get egg bound, because that would be the other thing you would do to. Oh, so I'm upset. All right. Well, eventually, we'll probably still pair him with her. Maybe when she's done, maybe we'll she get a double, double clutch. clutches or something like that. But <sighs> she's such a jerk. Yeah. Okay, on to hog noses. Hooray! Okay, hog noses are getting really exciting around here. They are. A lot of the babies we've bought and have been raising up are now breeding size, and we have some very exciting pairings. Uh, pairings for 2023. Unfortunately. About this many, this group, is about one season away from breeding. They were, I mean, so close that we even weighed them to make sure that they're not breeding size. And some of them are close, like this Conda Het Lavender, but we don't want to push them if they're not the right weight. Nope. So we're going to give them another year to get nice and big. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, I mean, sideways Jeff, he's getting bred this year. Yeah, uh, a couple. Penny's getting, mitosis is getting bred this year. So there's a handful, but it's right. still like... I know. Like het sunburst stuff. Het sunburst. Conda lavender stuff. Conda albina. Super snow making stuff. So close, but 2024. Actually, it kind of goes all the way down to here. Yeah, it does actually. But, huh. Yeah. But let's start pairing. Speaking of sideways Jeff, here he oh, is. Look at that boy. He's a sassy man. He yep. is going to get paired with Forever Spicy. Mm. Ah. That's right. He's special. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> 
Okay. Here's... That's kind of an exciting pairing, even though it's a normal to an albino. Yeah, so Forever Spicy is just plain old, oh, don't you try to eat me, you're so spicy. Uh, this, she's just, just a, a normal female, nice and big. I, uh, she did not breed last year, if I remember correctly. No hets or anything. And sideways, Jeff might have something really special going on, and so we're testing him out with just a normal female, and we... Can't tell you any more details than that. I'm really yep. sorry. We swore it to secrecy until we proved it out. So oh, we're gonna- <laughs> You just dropped him right on. Yeah, we're gonna wait for the twitch. Hopefully we see a twitch. I just saw like an upset face. No, oh, really? On him. The weird thing about hog noses though, and a lot of you already know this, the females are known to eat the males from time to time. So what we're gonna do with all of our pairings here is put them together and wait for what we call the hog nose twitch, which is basically a twitching movement. Come on, do, it, do the twitch. <laughs> He was really interested. He in her. was really into her. Drop yeah. him on her. Drop him on Here, her face. Go look at each other. There you go. Waiting for the twitch because that means they're not going to eat each other. Basically, the twitch is them saying, "I'm a hog nose. You're a hog nose. Don't eat me, and I won't eat you." So she is instead just chasing him down. Oh, another thing they can do is oh, never mind. That's her. <laughs> That's an even better sign actually that I don't think we've ever been able to show on camera. Females will wiggle their tail like that when they're ready to breed. Oh. Yeah, so. I didn't know that. Really? Yeah, no. we don't even have to wait for the twitch there. All right. We're just gonna give them some privacy. So she's just like, all right, hi daddy. <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> give me the H. Next is a fan favorite. We've got Shaneco, the lavender face hog nose. And since the pairing worked so well last year, we're gonna pair him to Lily, the Superconda het lavender hog nose, just like last year. Oh, she's right out the boat. Oh, she left oh a nice fresh gosh. hoop for us she's too. She's massive. Yeah, she's growing nice and big. Here, I'm gonna pair you guys up, figure things out while I clean your poop. I will look for Twitch. Oh, there's the oh, tail. There's the tail wiggle. Okay, she's, just, right, she's just going right for that. Okay. Apparently this year we just got the, uh, <laughs> wow. the let's get going thing going on. Apparently. All right, I'll leave you to be. Next up. We have uh, a new male. He doesn't have a name yet. He was uh, surrendered to us uh, quite a while ago. And he is an exanthic morph and he is het albino. Yeah. He has big eyeballs too. Yes. So we've named, ah, uh, yeah, we have named him, haven't we? Yeah. We named him eyeballs. Just named him. Yeah, that's right. So he we're going to pair uh, experimentally with Kate. Kate is an exanthic and she is also het albino. So these two could produce snows, assuming he is het albino. With the eyes though, we're gonna test it out to see if bigger eyes is genetic with hog noses. We've never proven that ourselves or like seen proof of it. So if they do produce some odd looking babies, we're obviously just gonna adopt them out and not breed this male again. Yep. But we don't know for sure if it is genetic or not, or just an unusual abnormality with just him. So we're gonna pair these two. Kate is obviously very happy. Very, very happy. Here's your boyfriend. Yeah, let me throw him like right here. You have a new boyfriend. Look at those two exanthics together. Oh, he's checking you out, Kate. Oh. Don't you just hiss at him, that's so rude. Can we see the twitch at least? Here, or tail can... wiggle. Here's the twitch. She, uh... <laughs> she twitch hissed. She twitch hissed. I didn't know they could hiss and twitch at the same time. <laughs> That's so funny. All right. All right well, well, there's the twitch. There we go. Okay, they're good. Not gonna eat each other. Next to play with a lady is Christopher Turk. He is our vibration Aww. therapy boy. Our vibrator boy. Yeah, he's doing really, really well still. No new blockages or anything, so good. the treatment took care of that. And he's gonna get paired with Bacon, who is Het Snow. Chris here is just exanthic. He's not Het Albino as far as we know. So we should just see some exanthic babies out of these two. Can we see a twitch from you? Twitch your tail. Your choice. She's really interested in him. Yeah. Oh yeah, smell him. Oh, there's the twitch. There's a twitch. All right, perfect. They're good. Awesome. <laughs> we have another familiar pairing. It's we're like gonna we went with our females and like paired down the line. Oh. She's next and then I'm <laughs> guessing it's gonna be Tiffany I after that. I think so. Uh, you can definitely see the pattern in which we uh, <laughs> chose them all. But yes, we have Bra here. He is a condomorph. We have bred him many times too. Omnomlet. Yeah. Uh, the notorious baby eater. Yeah. Omnom. You are. Hello. Here's your boyfriend. You know him. Don't eat yep. him. You guys, you guys love each other. Let's see. I'll move your cave aside. Let's see. Look, look. Boyfriend. Oh, Sorry. Brad doesn't like you. Your boyfriend is back <sighs> for his once a year visit. Yeah. Are you gonna twitch or tail waggle or anything? He's here for uh, to make more babies and not pay any child support. 
That's right. Oh, yep. Yep, there, there it is. is. Okay, we're good. And we have another, yet another exciting pairing. This is Mirage, who you might recognize from our recent Arlington, Texas trip. He is a Conda Het Lavender hognose snake that was gifted to us by Margie down in Texas. And he is big enough to breed and he's been doing well for us. So you know what? We're gonna pair him to Tiffany, our lavender hognose this year. Hello, Tiffany. Oh, there you go. Now you can really see the colors too. So you may be asking yourselves, well, why wouldn't we pair Tiffany, a lavender, to Shaneco, another lavender, instead of pairing her to a head? Well, we were talking with Tom Harbin at the Arlington show, and he was telling us, and we've been doing research too, and I kind of wanted his confirmation on this. He was telling us that for lavenders, oh, there's the twitch. Yep, Perfect. The twitch. Yep, we're good there. With lavenders, you typically don't want to breed lavender to lavender. You'll actually have better fertility if you pair a het lavender to a visual lavender. So that could explain why last year she didn't have any good eggs, because she was paired with a lavender. So this year we're going to try her with just a het lavender. And I'm guessing this is coming back to what we were talking about earlier with the bull snakes. So the lavender gene came from one female? Yeah, one female. One female. <laughs> All lavenders came from her. Yeah. So what you're happening, what's happening is you're getting siblings or cousins and cousins and siblings and like, oh, the, the tree goes like this. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> like the, the black tree. Yes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but so they're not, they're just not genetically diverse enough to breed lavenders to lavenders and get good results. The hog noses had a big one with pink pastels. Yep, yep. There were a lot of health issues, I think neurological issues with pink pastels yeah. because they were line bred so much. Now they're better because they've been outcrossed for a few generations yep. from what I understand, but the lavenders are you're starting to see that. So now we're going to start pairing lavenders to het lavenders to diversify their genes a bit. Exactly. Next is Penny. He is a newer male of ours. He is a lemon ghost and he is gorgeous. Lemon yeah, ghost is. is a line bred trait, so it's kind of hard to see on a single individual, but if we put him up next to his girlfriend, who is going to be Waffle this year, you can really see that color difference. Yeah. So this might pass along onto the offspring. We were hoping to have a female lemon ghost to pair him with, but we don't have one, so we're going to pair him with Waffle instead. Yeah. Might as well get his genes going someplace. Yeah. If right. nothing else, we'll just get a bunch of normals. That's right. Here, look. Meet each other. We are friends. Friends are we. I'm gonna twitch or not. Well, he's interested in her. He sure is. Waffle here is a pastel, which I have yet to be convinced she actually is a pastel. We just yeah. bought her as one. I, I don't think, think she's, she's a pastel. I either. think she's a normal, but she's 100% het toffee. So we wanted to get a toffee male to pair with her this we year. We do have a toffee male now. Yeah, but he's not big enough to yeah, breed. He's yeah, he's a, he's a next year. Next, next year he'll be year. ready. So both of these we had mates that we wanted to get for each of them, but didn't. So we figured we'd just pair them with each other. Oh, oh, wow. Geez. She did not like that, apparently. <laughs> Even he's like, what did I do? <laughs> well, she's not twitching, but she's right next to him and doesn't seem to care. Yeah, and we'll she... check in on her before we go. And another familiar pairing. We did this in the past. We're going to do it again this year. This is Farkas. He is a purple line, possibly het lavender, right? Possibly het albino and lavender. And we're gonna pair him to the same thing, Azura, who is also purple line, possibly het albino, possibly het lavender. Last time we paired these, they didn't have a big enough clutch to be able to prove whether or not they are both, in fact, uh, het, either lavender or albino. She looks like she wants to have a meal. Yeah, don't eat him, you know him. Yeah. He's your boyfriend from last year. So we're hoping we get a bigger clutch from Azura, the female Dude, here, this year. You're going the wrong way. No, no, no. Come here. We come need here. you to go in front of your girlfriend. Yep, yeah, you have to meet. He's I know. like, have you seen her? She's, She's huge. She's huge. She's going to eat me. All yeah. right. We'll check on them too. Yep. Spider pig, spider pig, does whatever spider pig does. This is spider pig. He is an exanthic, and that's yeah. it. So yeah. we're just gonna pair him with, uh, where is she? Diamond, right no, there. I don't think it was diamond. Was it not diamond? No, that was diamond. Oh, it is, sorry, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, we are pairing him we're with diamond. We're just gonna get het albinos, so. Albinos? Het exanthics. There you go. A whole go. bunch of normal looking babies. Diamond, you left two poops and three poops. Oh my gosh. Wow, diamond's, uh, she's overachieving. You're cranking them out. Spider pig's like, what in the world is going on? I don't wanna be with a poopy gal. All right, well, we might check on these later too. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we have just a few pairings left for hog noses, but yeah. don't worry, we still have some more fun stuff. This is Bueller. He is an albino conda, and he is getting paired, just like last year, I believe, with Charlotte. Oh, oh Charlotte, look, here's your boyfriend. Are food? you ready? Food? You ready to see your boyfriend? Oh, is it tasty food? He's not food. You're gonna I have think to. I it's food. You're gonna have to prove to us that you don't want to eat right now. <laughs> hey, Charlotte, look, boyfriend. 
Boyfriend. Wow, there's a size difference there. <laughs> a little bit. Oh. Look, look, Ew. not food, not food. Nope, you have to tell me that you know yeah, we, it's not food. You're too big. All right, well, she smelled him yeah, and she is moving on. Yeah, doesn't like she wants to eat him. Yeah, so. I think we're okay. <laughs> there's a handful we're gonna check before we leave today. Absolutely. So. <laughs> All right, one more pairing, or we have one more male to pair, and then we have some females who are gonna share males, basically. Yep. This is Dropkick Murphy. He's and settled down this year. Yeah, he's not as high he's strung as boy. he used to be. So we're gonna try him out. Uh, he is a Conda Het Lavender. And we're actually gonna try pairing him with Mitosis, yeah. who is one of our very first holdbacks. Let's take a look. Mitosis, look at her. So we held her back because of her really cool spot pattern. She's a Conda. She is, I believe, a baby from Omnomelet and Bra from back in the day. And we called her Mitosis because her spots look like cells going through mitosis and she has been so much fun to work with she's one of our program animals now she actually does library parties and such she's not going to for the next couple of months for breeding unfortunately though her being a uh, program animal uh. she accidentally got paired with jester already this year yeah sam may have been maybe a little short on sleep because he put mitosis back in jester's bin jester right now is off doing a library program that's why there's this blue clip on there so he's yeah. not inside but she was put in here and we think they may have locked up yeah, in the there's time a good possibility yeah they were together overnight which is when somebody else noticed that they were together and shouldn't have been so we split them up but we're going to do an experiment to see if jester did lock up with her or not he's just head albino which yep. she's not any albino she's just conda so we're going to pair her with dropkick murphy and if we get any super condas that'll mean dropkick murphy is the dad and sideways jeff isn't if there are no condas whatsoever or no i'm sorry if there's um, no super condas if there's no super condas then jester is the dad could be the dad could be the dad so we're gonna find out here he's your second boyfriend of the year yeah gonna... first intentional yeah that's right oh we're sniffing each other oh yeah well he's sniffing her she's sniffing the wall yeah <laughs> He's like, she's like, I've already been with a boy. I don't need another one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's not trying to eat him though, so no, I think we're okay. Exactly. We'll just check back for locks later. Exactly. Well, now we have four oh, bins. Emily's just gonna run into me. Sorry. Uh, we got four bins here that all have no males. Yes. What's uh, going on with that? The males are with other ladies right now. Look at this chunky lady. She needs a male. Typically, you breed, you want a ratio with like bull snakes, uh, one male to every three females they could take care of. But with hog noses, it seems like they do better one male to one female. Yep. However, we're short on a couple of males, so we are gonna double up a couple of our like proven breeders or a couple that we just want to experiment with. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Audrey, Audrey to start here. Audrey is going to be paired <laughs> with. Come here. Look, it's Audrey. She's gonna get paired with Bueller, our albino conda. Okay. This is Butter Butterscotch. Spanish. She's going to get paired with Sideways Jeff, the exciting but yes. secret experiments albino yep. male. Yep, that's probably just gonna turn into nothing. But, probably, you, know. you never know. Bye Butterscotch. Jeffina too, come here. Come here, Jafina. Jafina is- No! She is one of the prettiest albinos I think I've ever seen, because she has like yellow dirt in her splotches. She is another experiment breeder this year. Yep. Again, we can't share a whole lot about the project, but we're gonna pair her with Bruh, the condom male. And okay. we just kind of have to see what happens with that pairing. All right. And last but not least, we have Busty Rhonda, who oh, is- there she comes. Come here, come here, Busty. Come on, <laughs> come here, come on, Busty Rhonda. There she is in all of her glory. She's going to get paired with Spider Pig, the Xanthic male. Oh, he's getting moved around. Yeah, she's head Xanthic, he is Xanthic, That's so true. we should produce some Xanthics yeah. with them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. she's so big. She's like, give me food. All right, that is all of our breeding plans for the bull snakes and the hog noses. But that's not the only two species we are going to be breeding this year. We have some other miscellaneous species planned as well. We are hoping to at least pair, maybe get eggs, maybe get babies from. Uh, we're gonna do that with our rat snakes, our fox snakes, Woma pythons. The Eastern Indigos have already been paired actually. They breed at a different time of year than the rest. So they are due to lay eggs actually any day now. The Texas Indigos we're gonna be pairing, the black milk snakes, Pueblin milk snakes, variable king snakes, false water cobras, Vietnamese blue beauties again, and our Argentines are due to give birth any day, and I'm sure there's some others too that I'm yeah. forgetting. That's there's just, a lot in the zoo that just like, they just the like mangroves. to breed. That's it's right, we already breed. have mangrove eggs. So yeah, Busty Rhonda, what do you think? 
We have a big breeding year planned. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. I'd be happy if at least half of these pairings panned out. Yep, Honestly. With hog noses, it's like a 50-50 shot. So even though we paired a lot of them today, they're not all gonna lay eggs. No. Some might not lay eggs at all. Some might lay eggs, but they're all slugs or infertile eggs. And some might have eggs that just go bad during incubation. True. There's a lot of things that can happen. So if we get half of the clutches of hog noses that we're planning, I'd be stoked. That'd be yeah, awesome. same here. So what? Um, uh, Ed, question for you. What clutch are you, or which pairing are you most excited for? Um, I'm uh, excited for more lavender hognose babies. More lavender hogs. I'm excited to see some of the axanthic stuff come out. Ooh, yeah, that's oh, nice. Oh, I said axanthic. Axanthic stuff. Oh, yeah. Ed says axanthic. I say axanthic. Yeah. Tomato, tomato. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> or, I mean, Womas. If or we do Womas. get the Womas, I yeah. would love to get Woma babies. But. I would also love to get more Madagascar giant hogs. I just realized we didn't mention yep. those. Or false water cobras. Black milks. Black milks would be really cool. Okay, I'm excited yeah. for a lot of things. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below which pairing you are most excited for. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned while we wait, I guess, for eggs. And those videos are going to be coming out before you know it. We're going to be getting eggs soon, I think. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Patreon backers, for your amazing support. And happy breeding season!